I said I'd be back and here I am. Let's, uh, let's have a quick chat about what I'm going to do today. So, we're, uh, when I do a live stream, it has to be something that's non-spoilery. So I can't work on new campaign stuff or the new creatures in the campaign. That said, I will probably... You will probably see me working on the new creatures at some point. In fact, the new creatures will probably come up fairly soonish. But what I can work on is monthly levels. Well, the extra levels, sorry. So, today I'm going to be taking a look at one of the other ideas I have for an extra level. Now, there's three extra levels complete so far. Although there's some balance issues with insane mode on a grand eyes, uh, I'm not sure where um, babysitting lives at the minute, like balance wise. But I guess we'll find out when that releases. I balanced it the best I could during uh, the beta test, but there still might be some balance issues there. And the final one's not really a balance thing because. You unlock things to make it make yourself stronger. But today I'm going to be looking at um, something a bit different. But to do it, I have to test something. I think. The best way for me to start this. <laughs> Hello, Iron Hand. Good to have you with us. And the best way to start this is for me to take one of the um, existing leaf cutter levels, modify it, probably three two, because I. Oh no, I do intend to have enemy colonies. Maybe 3-1 then. Okay, I'll take 3-1. In fact, if I start with 3-1 as a basis, I might actually just be able to move some points around in it. And keep its AI intact. For this level. So they didn't tend to have an AI uh, enemy colony, an uh, enemy leaf cut colony in this level. But we'll see. Unfortunately, now I've got to wait for three two to load and then load three one again. So yeah, uh, oh, I've got the wrong stream name again. This is an extra level. Okay. So I'm going to be working on that. Yesterday I went over what's been going on here. So if you want to, if you want to know what's been going on the last week, I recommend you check out yesterday's short stream. But today we're going to be looking at it doing a new extra level, or starting starting one at least. So I put a document together for it. I don't know how much of this will make it into the level in the end. I spent a while planning the level to some degree I code name this one adventure
Okay, so basic concept of this level. You play as a leaf cutter colony, which with what looks like a very small map when you first get to the surface. Objectives initially state that you need to uncover hidden objectives. Maybe it's uncover hidden objectives and it's got a number, so uncover secret hidden, like six hidden objectives. Completing objectives provides XP for the colony, which basically adds to the score. And the colony unlocks things at various XP levels. So your colony levels up and gets stronger. Some objectives will, uh, will provide a threat to the colony, such as the colony being attacked and you have to deal with it. Multiple options of where to go, though certain objectives should be done first. So certain areas will be very hard to, to deal with until you've got enough XP. So you, the, there will be a route, that you, there will be um, stuff that you have to figure out. And the play area opens up as you discover locations in the map. So, first things first, let's let's test this play area open opening up thing. I think it's in level methods that I've got the. I think it is. Maybe it's not level methods. Oh, where would it be? I'll be the Everground Talbot, won't it? Okay, so here we've got an initial minimap offset. Right, so I don't want to destroy too much about this level because I'm going to need to repurpose a lot of it. Like these points, these all need to remain, I believe. Oh, these patrol routes. Oh, yeah, maybe not the patrol points. This, perhaps. Nav modifiers. Okay, so there's going to be a big chunk of work to try and work out this leaf cutter colony. Uh, however, get rid of that to start with. Also, think I'm going to get rid of. Oh, they're linked. See, I might need some patrol routes. Yeah, I think that's given me the central point of all of the patrol points that are selected. Yeah. Right, let me come back to chat for a second. Oh, chat's quiet. Okay, so. What we're going to do
Oh, the bug that I was working on yesterday as well, I discovered what it was, and it was that they weren't spawning, and it was because there's a thing that gets the data for the Ubers, but the new Uber, Ubers weren't added into it. So when it was trying to fetch the data for them, it just it, it was just coming back with nothing. So a spawn point with one of the new Ubers in was being set to despawn instantly. So yeah, there we go. Okay. So this is this needs to start more centrally. Boom. There we go. Uh, and what we're going to be doing? Uh, we're going to be doing all sorts of strange things. But I initially need to get some. Right. Point. Target point. See the initial area. I'll give it, I'll give it a name uh, that makes sense. Uh, initial area. No. <sighs> Map sections. Map unlock center one. And map unlock center two. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so then I need to apply that to the OG tile grid. I got a feeling I'm gonna to need to make uh, some code adaptions in a second. Really quite soon. Okay. So that's that will set the mini map to be really small to start with. However, I've got to, I, what I don't think is in at the minute is the ability to, to set the map to specific locations and I'm gonna to have to make that. Once that's saving, I'll take a quick look at the, it'll be in the OG tile grid, I think. Did that save? Looks like it might have done. Oh no, it's still saving. That mini map. Okay, one second. Uh oh. 
Well, there is one called Offset Minimap. Looks like it can be called from blueprints. You're right, that boy, that boy of thought. What's the objective of this level? The idea is that there's going to be multiple objectives. Um, and as you complete them, you get XP and your leaf colony gets stronger. So you unlock upgrades and stuff. So there's, so it's going to be more more of a uh, multiple objective thing rather than a single objective. The overall objective is to complete all the objectives. Um, I've, I've got an idea for what I want each of the objectives to be. We shall see. Okay, so first off, give this a go so part of the part of this map is going to be uh, opening up more of the mini map or more of the map to to, um, to explore it but in order to get it correct I'm going to need I'm going to need to figure it out because it's going to it's going to have to be a grid sort of system so the further left you've unlocked, so I guess what it needs to do is find the ho the top left point you've unlocked and the bottom right point you've unlocked and use those two points. But we'll we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, okay, so this is the code from the other level. Ignore that for now. We'll actually want to keep some of that, but not all of it. Um, offset minimap. Okay, so. Map unlock C1, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna try making a more northern unlock. So this will be what map unlock M one. Let's see if this works. Running a test at the minute. Very early in this level, so. Oh, I should, uh, I should. Begin with the tunnel exit open. Just to speed things up. Okay, so there. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Right, let me press this and see what happens. Okay, so that did do the mini-map, but it didn't do... It's not allowing me to go further. So I need to look into that. I actually think I wasn't meant to call that. 
something on level methods that I'm meant to call, I think. Which does it for me. So a function or something. Uh, let's well let's let's have a look at the um, oh, yeah, I, I get the feeling it's somewhere here. I promise maps such a generic term. I might need to go. Um, I might need to go take a look at one of the levels that actually does it, but the other foot level does it. So I'll have a look at what I do there. So I'm just saving this, and then we'll have a quick look at the other foot level. How's everyone doing today? Oh, I had a. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Resident Evil games, the new ones that are coming out. Well, the new old ones. So I've... Uh, I had a good night last night with the release of, uh, the release of Resident Evil 3. I've heard the multiplayer mode is not up to much, much in it, but the... Uh, but the single player campaign is brilliant. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. At least if we're locked down, we can uh, we can still play games, right? It's taking a while to. Yeah, that's done. Um, so I'm going to open the le the other foot level. We'll have a look at how that handles it. Whilst it's doing that, I'm just going to get a coffee. Back in a minute.
Right, let's have a look at how this level handles it. Will there be achievements for the extra level? Um, right, with, with the extra levels, I haven't put anything in achievement-wise yet. Now, achievements, they're a bit of a faff to get in. So they need artwork and careful, carefully putting in, else they don't work. Um, but what I might do is, as, as they open up, do achievements for completing X number of them. I don't... I'm not going to do clever achievements like there are like, like it exist in the campaign because they they took a lot of thought and careful planning. But I might do like complete five extra levels achievement for that. Complete ten extra levels. Maybe do uh, uh, the difficulty that you're completing them on as well. So uh, extra level normal, extra level insane, that sort of thing. Will the challenge mode creatures and army ants scream be in free play eventually? Uh, right, the challenge mode creatures are a bit funny. Um, so, uh, I mean, for example, if a single mole cricket landed in your in your nursery, or or a, or a patch of forest flies appeared, it wouldn't be much of an event in free play. I've I've thought about it a few times though, and it's a possibility of maybe having like events where you get attacked by mole crickets for a while, or you get or Forehead flies appear for a while, then they disappear. Um, like, sort of like a modifier. So basically something temporarily happens on the map. That'll add the challenge to, to it, but only temporarily. Does that sound reasonable? I don't... I would like to get them in because again it's more content that's simple enough to uh well, it's sort of simple enough to add. I think basically during the events as well you wouldn't be able to save. So it would save as the event started and then um and then save as as the event ended but during the during the event wouldn't be able to save so because uh, and the reason for that is that saving has to be done very carefully but each of those different things has unique elements to them which aren't uh, currently accounted for in the save system i don't really want to spend loads of time on the save system for each individual one of those so Something along those lines, I think, is a possibility. So say maybe they last for 10 minutes. Um, during that time, you can't save. And depending on the difficulty, it depends on how difficult it gets over that time period. It's either that, or I turn them into like a special sort of landmark, but then they are going to require quite a lot of uh, attention on the save system. So balance and act. Okay. So colony attack graph. It should be in here. Okay, so player HUD reset minimap offset. Okay, here we are.
offset OG minimap. Okay, there we are. That's everything we need. So I need the oh, the tug of war. Tug of war widgets. Okay. That's all I needed to know. So basically I'm not sure. I think the ideal solution to it would be um would be like another landmark system. So say a patch of fire flies would appear or a patch of um like a beetle larva tiger beetle larvae would appear or a bunch of mole crickets would spawn and then they'd save and everything would be tickety boo but the reality of getting that right is that it would take a long time to implement. We'll see. And the other the other side of it is that there's other things I'd like to do in free play. Um more than that. So I'd like to get enemy colonies into free play, for example. I think that's top of my list of things I'd like to improve on free play. Set OG minimap. EOTU tug of war HCP object reference. In level methods. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. It. Oh, I'll just don't save it. Um, there we are. Okay, so hopefully that will do the whole thing. I think it should. I think it's set up to do the whole thing. So it should fade in the fade out the UI and fade in the well fade out the mini map and fade it back in. It should do, I think. Okay, so this young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed yeah, them as cool. larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Okay. Next thing to do... 
is exploratory map unlocking. So, so I'm going to move that more north, for example, and then copy it. We have a north two. And then I'll do the same with the south. Okay, so there's there's stuff we've got to take into account here. So the more north you're gonna go, the more north that unlock will go. Then okay. Then the more south, east, west, the more west you go, the more westerly uh, a, a, an unlock will go. So as you explore those two, it will open up kind of the north, northwest area as well. I wanted I wanted multiple things to happen on the unlocks so certain areas you unlock just by heading towards them and that unlocks an area certain ones will be on a timer so you can't go and do a certain area until a certain time some might even be on a combat trigger so for example the plan with the enemy leaf cutter colony was that there'd be an area that you're both harvesting from and as soon as two of your leaf cutter ants meet, it then unlocks their nest to be able to attack them. Should be interesting. We shall see. Right. So this is like City Takeover Mission in AoE. Age of Empires went. We gain new army every new town you conquer. Uh, you don't gain new army. You get you you as as you complete the objectives, you'll get experience, which will upgrade your army. So it will unlock various upgrades for your colony. I've got a list of ones I thought. Thought of before. So like level one workers plus fifty movement speed, level two workers plus five resource carry, level three workers plus twenty health, level four workers plus one damage, level five unlock Medea, level six Medea plus twenty health, level seven Medea plus fifty percent piercing, level eight Medea plus two armor, level nine Medea plus twenty percent attack speed. Level 10, unlock mages, etc, etc, etc. I've got unlocks all the way up to level 30. I 
including a mad one at level 28. So at level 28 I've got down unlock super major which would be just a large version of the major and I think you're only allowed one of them in your colony. <laughs> It's, and it says 3,000 resources to build, 1,000 resources to hatch. Incredibly powerful when used in conjunction with other units. So it was a, a fun, like, super ant that you could have. But, yeah. Some fun ideas for this mission, but we'll see how, how many of them actually make it in. Problem is, I get over ambitious with these missions and I end up spending weeks on them. Okay, so how are we going to do this unlock? Okay, so unlocking takes two actors. However, what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to have two actors which are the unlock points and they're just going to move position as you unlock the next area so we'll just save it in the level methods Not level methods. Oh, leave level methods alone, John. And the level. So we're going to have a couple of variables here. Top left map. It's going to be an actor. It's going to be point target point okay so I say these will be triggered by various things one of the things is going to be a box so I'm going to test that out right now. So I need a trigger box thing. I'm sure we've got these in the levels. I don't know what to be called. That's a test for overlap. Okay, there's something called an overlap sphere. Maybe that would do it. So, for example, if we put one here, let me have a look at it, see what its code's doing. It's not doing anything.
Right. Essentially, there's going to need to be a constant check to see if a creature's overlapping these things. Because we turned off overlaps with creatures to save space. <laughs> so it needs to check whether they're overlapping with one of these special functions. I think it's I think that's the right one. Um Every zero point two seconds. We think uh, what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have an array of of these spheres. This is already getting much more complicated. Basically here I've got uh, an array of spheres which I'm going to use in the level which will need to be checked whether a creature is overlapping them and they'll have individual things that happen like expand the map or, or trigger an event or maybe a bit of everything. But basically, they're going to be added into the uh, into the array at the beginning of the level, and as they do their as, as their task is done, they'll be removed from the array and probably deleted as well from the level, so it won't be needed again. Okay, so. Go through the loop. Uh, each one's going to need to have an individual 
nothing associated. <sighs> Individual cast. Uh, might actually be better just to have them here. Ah, oh, but then they can't be added. Okay, this is getting complicated. It's getting complicated already. Okay, so I want to remove them when they're done, but they need to run individual code. Each sphere needs to run individual code. So I've got a couple of ways I can approach this. I can either naff this idea off and just literally have a list of spheres that I'm checking in the level rather than an array. And then it just checks whether they're valid still at the beginning. That's a really simple way of doing it. Possibly not the most efficient. How many of these are they going to be? 10, 20 at most? Then you're only checking 20 things. It's not exactly a big ask. That might be the best bet. Rather than trying me trying to scrape minor performance imp improvements out of this. Yeah, let's do that. Change of plan. is valid So if that's valid, it then checks for overlapping creatures. Each overlapping creature, it checks if the player's colony owns it. If the player's colony does own it, then we expand the minimap. Okay, so this expand minimap function then needs to take more stuff into account. So 
So if it's if it's x, x is less than. So if it's x is less than the current top left x, then we're expanding west. Take the new x, the old y, the old y, the old z, and move it in that direction. So first of all, it checks west, then it's going to check north. then east, then south. Okay, so north is if y y is greater than the current y value And top left map has the old X, the old Z, but the new Y. So that's the north check. Oh boy, here we go. East, south. So this is this is going to be bottom right. So east again is going to be on the x, but it's going to be if the new x is greater than the old x. Then the then we take the 
new x value, old y and old z. And y, if the new y is less than the old y, then we're expanding south. So we take the new y, the old x, the old z. And finally, once we've done all that, then we actually expand the minimap with the top left, bottom right values. Now I actually haven't set these to a value yet, but they may as well just be the initial points I give. Just the first two points. Top left, bottom right. Okay, let's check sphere overlaps. If it finds an overlapping one, then it's going to expand the minimap. Up to north one. Right. Okay, here we are. And now out of coffee. Again, again. Right. So now what should happen when I press the right button is it'll start checking for that. Oh, and then once it's once it's expanded the minimap, it can destroy this. It's not needed anymore. Okay, so these are still tests in a way, but they're not entirely. This is actually me putting the infrastructure in place for it. However, I'm not sure how much of it is going to be in the level. I need to look up the plan because I did plan this level out to some degree. It should be an interesting level. So I do think it's going to it will take a while to complete. Let's be warm today. Not feeling it. Sorry, map saving at the minute. Got to save on this map. 
This young queen okay. has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus yeah, she fed them as larvae is that. now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. As soon as that's dug out, this will go away. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists. But for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotus okay. leaf cutter colony. So theoretically, as soon as I get someone into there, it and should it must be collected the next area of the mini map. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of well, deadly jungle that definitely creatures didn't happen. back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casviri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. The right, should we see if we can have a look at what, what went wrong there then? To make sure I've got the name of that correct. Press start. Oh, looks like it might not have been. That would uh, that would indeed cause issues. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists. But for now at least, ignored. This budding Atacephalotus leaf cutter colony has only one viable source of food and it must be collected above ground. Something was running horribly then. I'm not sure what that was. I have noticed that. I have indeed noticed that happened before. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists. But for now at least, they will go ah. ignored. Okay, this I know what's going on there. This lotus leaf cutter colony uh, has only one viable source of brilliant. food, and it must be collected above ground. Not brilliant. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. Okay, there's a bug. Bug in the system. Anyway, one second. Back in a moment.
Okay. So. There's a bug with the. There's a couple of bugs. First of all, though, there's a bug, bug with the map expansion. So the X seemed to be fine. Although the X didn't change. It was the Y that was wrong. And specifically the South Y. So thinking about it. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, so with the South Y, what we've got is if the new the new y is less than the old y so that make it further south then the x y z values are set to the new x no, the old X, sorry, the new Y, and the old Z. Okay, well. I'm going to do because I know the uh, so now it was working. I know that the overlap was working fine. going to run this straight away and have a look at what comes out. I think I'm going to end this stream at two. At one, sorry. So in, in about 17 minutes. This young queen has successfully I raised her lunch. first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Okay, so let's have a look. Right, so it's got a new west. Which might be true. Doesn't it have a new north? Okay, this might be the issue.
Those Y values seem wildly different. But the new one seems wrong. Maybe not actually. It's quite a long distance, isn't it? Yeah, it's not wrong. Uh, in fact, that seemed exactly right. that said, it claimed it had a new south value, value, north value, right, I've been an idiot, y is positive in that direction, so it's just the other way around, So, that should be it. Theoretically. <laughs> this young queen has successfully raised go. her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Okay, so the, the basic map system's working for that now. So the systems are starting to be put in place. Pretty soon I'm going to need... Um, going to need to design the map properly. It's going to be one of the very early tasks on this map, I think. I'm going to need to do some map cleaning first. So things like stuff like that can go. Uh, I think I'm going to delete all foliage for now. All this will need to be replaced. All foliage is gone. These plants really, these all need to go.
us to these. Cleaning the map up a bit. So we need to do some serious map editing in a minute. Well, there's eight minutes left of the stream. Always a fan of the game, mate. You and the team keep up the good stuff. Thank you very much. Super, super weon. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep it going. Still plenty more game to come. Thanks to you, it's thanks to you people that uh, were able to do this and were able to put so much time and work into it. We'll make the game the best it can be. Right, so I don't think I've planned the map out properly. Like I've got a a, a, a a written list of what I want to happen. So let's have a quick look. So some minor objectives. So collect a thousand leaves, grow to 30 ants, clear the area around the nest from threats, clear the underground from threats. So those objectives will give you um, a decent amount of XP to get you off the ground. Then there's an army ant colony, a leaf cutter colony. Trap your colony. Yeah, I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted to do the army ants. A floodplain. So I believe the idea is you harvest all the leaves that are in the floodplain, but you've got to watch out for the flooding. And a, a huge whip spider somewhere. An uber jumping spider, apparently. A hill somewhere. And then... A deadly dungeon at the end. That's an interesting one. So the deadly dungeon is essentially an enemy colony, but it's not going to be populated by ants. It's going to be populated by um, by various creatures. So it'll be a whole underground section of the map. That's that's populated by enemy like enemy creatures like various ubers and stuff. It's like the final objectives. So it's going to be like a separate dungeon to to explore. It'll be a fun map this one. So there's essentially going to be four proper colonies. No, no, three proper colonies on the map. So. A leaf cutter, your colony, a leaf cutter, and the trap jaw. Then there's going to be an army ant colony, which will, I believe, consist of 
just a constant flow of ants heading into your nest when you trigger it. So if you go into the area, there'll be a lot of army ants around the area. Then as soon as you attack one of them, they will just constantly flow towards you. And I, I think the... The idea will be to kill them all, probably either either to kill all of them, or um, or to get enough units into the into their section. So maybe if you've got enough units in their section, they leave. That might be a good idea. So, hello, how am I late? You are a bit Daniel Sly. Sorry. We're actually coming towards the end. I'll keep going for a little bit, but we are, we are uh, coming towards the end of the stream. I think a lot of people haven't got up yet. <laughs> it's meant to be warm this weekend, but it's a bit dull. No. So, so I'll explain the. Uh, okay, so north of the nest, there is first of all the trapdoor colony, then the floodplain. Uh, or maybe it should be the other way around. No, floodplain should be after because I don't want the trap jaws being killed by the floodplain. South of the nest is apparently the hill to conquer. East is the leaf cutter colony. And then the whip spider beyond. And then west is the army ants and the uber jumping spider. And then once all, once all that's done, the final dungeon will unlock near the player's nest. Okay, so they're the various objectives we've got. I think the hardest is to set up is probably going to be the leaf cutter to do it satisf satisfyingly. I think with the leaf cutter colony as well, it's going to be a race against them to harvest leaves in an area. Or maybe you need to kill them. No, you don't. You shouldn't need to kill them. I don't know. I've, I've only half planned this level out. I've done a bunch of uh, level up unlocks as well. But they, that's going to require a bit of an extra system to put in because I want to be able to buff a whole colony with, um, with upgrades that are separate from any other upgrade system in the game. So like additional upgrades you can give units... So if you give it the creature name, the upgrade name, and the upgrade quantity. Yeah, so there's going to be a new system that needs to be brought in in order to work out the XP. <laughs> Is that 3.1 and what's the entrance doing in the middle? Uh, we're actually working on a new um, extra level. At the start of the stream, I explained that the um, that the uh, extra level uh, sorry, my head's gone a bit funny. Um, at the start of the stream, I explained that uh, I. I can't stream any work on new campaign stuff because I don't want to spoil anything. But I can I can continue making extra levels and streaming those. So, the, 
this was just the foundation. Three point one was just the foundation that I've that I, that I was using. However, we're about to start um, butchering butchering the level good and proper. Good and proper. So first of all, I'll 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 take a look at the east of the nest. And the east of the nest is initially going to be in a, uh, a rich patch of leaves, but with a opposing leaf cutter colony having at them. Uh, so then, uh, height four apparently. So the objective is going to be what? Uh, the objective is to, is going to be to discover and complete the objectives. <laughs> if that makes it any clearer. <laughs> Basically, there's going to be multiple objectives on this map. Um, multiple smaller objectives. Uh, and completing them will give your colony XP, which will unlock upgrades for them uh, and then once you've completed all objectives it will unlock a, a, an extra underground area that you're that you need to defeat all the creatures in so like a like a like a dungeon <laughs> So there's no singular objective. Ooh, that's an interesting bug. It's because of this ramp. Don't know how many ramps I'm gonna need. So yeah. This area over the east here is going to be it's going to be a leaf cutter colony and some leaves to harvest. There's going to be all sorts going on in this mission. you'll be able to see up here to start with right at the beginning so I, mean, I don't want to how did you get away with not being deleted earlier I can 
multi-layered cake. Uh, it's better, it's quicker. Okay, so over here there needs to be enough space for a secondary objective, which is... Da, 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 da. Whip spider. Okay, so most of this area can be used up by the, the leaf cutter stuff. space probably needs a bit more uh, how much space do we need for the whip spider probably about that much uh, the leaf other leaf cutter colony uh, not really sure where it should go I think I can go a bit more south as well because I haven't got much planned for the south oh, there's a ramp there messing things up This area needs a bunch of leaves, but then we also need the leaf cutter nest. Uh, should I have the leaf cutter nest on a different level? This level will need complete redecoration anyway. Please don't put an Uber in this time. <laughs> seeing everything. In the future, are there any plans for foes such as anteaters or people? Wouldn't be too strong for the, for the map. Um, I never really, we never really planned on, I mean, people technically is already in there because you've got the, there's the scientist. But they, you can't defeat, you can't defeat the scientist as such. Um, we don't really have plans for anteaters, I don't think. Although the, the the final creature list for the rest of the game is actually is actually been produced now, so we know. What we do know is the locations for the final two tiers of the formicarium. Uh, and the creatures involved. We've got a, a, a rough outline of the fire ant levels and a rough idea of the of the final two levels. And a rough outline of the next formicarium challenge and a rough idea for the next for the final form of carrying challenge. I, I, I don't think anteaters are involved. But there's a lot of interesting creatures planned. And we'll reveal them in time. Uh, 
I was thinking they would work similar to the finger. All right, it just just like a foot appeared. <laughs> Maybe like you see the shadow of a foot for five seconds and then. <laughs> They're not really planned for the campaign, but I'm always open to to ideas and that. Okay, so right, I'm gonna plunk the the leaf cutter nest entrance here. Give it a good plunk. God, they're big, these nest entrances, aren't they? I don't think that's enough space. Right, let's make more space. The problem is the more south and north I go, the, the more other things are gonna be revealed when you try and uh, Surely that's enough space now, surely. Is there a ramp there, yeah. Ramp's always messing it up. Okay. Hmm. So this is where the other link of the column is gonna be. need loads of leaves and stuff here. Leafy, leafy plant, plant, plants. Probably need the clusters as well. I think I can just drag them on. It's great when a system works. I can edit their individual positioning. I can, but I can tighten it a bit and then just move it around until it looks right. Hmm. 
be fair, what might be easier is to move the big plants around. Rather than the little ones. Right, that's probably enough vegetation there for now. It's quite a lot of resources. I think that's going to be one of the first areas I urge the player to go. Although, what I'll probably have is the enemy colony just slowly nibbling on it until the player finds them, and then they'll properly get harvesting. A new belief. What? <laughs> He's gonna be happy. Yeah, they're gonna get. They're gonna have an easy, easy time. I think those ones. Okay. So next is the in. After this colony is meant to be a whip spider. So. Let's make a whip spider pit, shall we? Height two is probably fine for the. Uh... Oh, I've hit the map edge. Apparently Matt has a system now where it creates a lip of the map. But I haven't seen it in practice. I've gone on a bit longer than I intended to. Right, I'm going to keep going until half past. So another 10 minutes. And I'm going to go get lunch because I'm uh, really quite hungry. What is the little circle on the edge of the tiles? That is uh, a collision sphere. So it's there to stop, to absolutely stop anything from going over the edge. It's not... Uh, it's, a, it's literally a physical wall so creatures can't walk in that direction. And the reason it's there is because the way that we do avoidance... So there's pathing in the game and then there's avoidance. And they're two different systems. So a path uh, is generated via the tile grid. And it's essentially tile to tile is the path. And then avoidance is to do with creatures being next to each other. So if two ants are walking the same path... Um, they have something called uh, repulsion, I think, where they their path gets altered and they push each other away from each other. So you'll you'll notice them fan out in that respect, even if they're following the same path. And it's and if they can meet an ant coming the other way, they'll 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 walk around them. However, at cliff edges, if they get pushed into the cliff edge based on that repulsion. Uh, it could it it could cause situations where they get to the cliff edge and get stuck on the cliff edge or bump into the cliff edge and that sort of thing. So it's basically there to create a hard border to the tiles. So you'll notice these circles exist in all these situations. I believe you can still shoot through them. Yeah, I know you can, because it was one of the things that needed addressing at one point. Uh, 
Anyway, I'm gonna need a RAM. Gonna need a RAM. Maybe the whip spider should be here. Yeah, it's probably not that cool. Bit of space here. Bit of space to call home. I don't mind certain objectives unveiling other areas. So let's say the whip spider, you needed this area here. Be unveiled so it would unveil things slightly more north but I think that's fine step down another level. Is that enough space for a whip spider? Let's get rid of these. So I can see what I'm doing. Possibly needs more space than that. I'm not gonna leave the pit anyway in this situation. Huh. That's not right. That looks better. That doesn't look right. Oh, it's a painting issue, I think. Should be fine once I sort the paint work on it. See? It should work anyway. Yeah, that's sort of the pain. I mean, the level's going to need a redecoration anyway. Oh, ramp a shoot. Okay, well, I think I'm going to carve out a bit more space for the whip spider. Okay, that's probably fine. Right. Let's have a whip spider, shall we? Yeah, 
looks like there's plenty of space for it. Okay. Right, which spider is overrated? Turn all spiny crickets together with the harvestman should be fun. <laughs> I agree that the whip spider is uh, it's not as it's not as dangerous as it first looks. I said in that mish in that leaf cutter mission it is it is a it is a bit tricky initially. But yeah, later on things get mad with the other creatures. But spider overrated. I have used it a lot in these extra missions. Well, I used it on a grand eyes. Not used in the any of the others yet at this point. Hey. I think that's going to uh, end our session then. So that's the the east direction. It's obviously not done yet. All I've done there is is put the pieces in place for it. We're going to have to go back around and deal with all, all the code for everything. Uh, the leaf cutter colony as well. I'm going to have to going to have to figure it out. It'd be good if I could just reuse the code from the level on the leaf cutter colony, but we'll see how much of that we can actually possibly do. Um, so yeah, there's loads left to do on this level, but there we've made a start on it. I'll be working on this probably mostly just uh, during the live streams. So I'll be focusing on building on this level. The giant don't work, but an Uber. <laughs> yeah. Put more Ubers. I think and what I might actually do is save the Ubers in this one for um, for the final dungeon. So until that, until the final dungeon, you don't see any Ubers. And then the final dungeon, you see there's all sorts of stuff. They'll, we'll put all sorts of terrible stuff. But in the final dungeon, you're going to ha have needed to save up. Because by that point, you'll have cleared the map. Um, and I guess the key will be to clear the map as efficiently as possible. So you've got enough resources saved up to manage the final dungeon area. That's going to require some testing to get right. Anyway... That's that for today. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I'm going to try and stream a little bit more regularly during the um, during the week. But if you don't see me before, I should definitely be streaming on Friday. So keep an eye out for my streams. Follow these streams if you want to know when they go live. I haven't. I haven't got a strict schedule, um, although we'll see how the how t how things go in the coming weeks, and we'll see if we can get um, get more strict on our times. So yeah, thanks very much for joining me, and I will see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ra.